Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novice Bear Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be installing some custom Windows games onto our Lutris. So let's get started. Now, the reason why we're using Lutris instead of just installing it natively through Wine, it's because Lutris helps configure everything easily. So if you wanted some FPS display or even change the version of Wine that you're using to boot this up from, you can just by switching some options over. Now, this method can also be done with the Steam OS or the Steam Deck, so you could follow along if you're in that as well. Now, I did choose a perfect game to install onto Lutris, which is not actually in the Lutris library, and it also has DLCs, and it does require some configuring to get it to run so we have all those mixed in between to get this game working so it is a perfect game to learn from so to jump into our desktop if you haven't done so already install Lutris I'll leave a link for you guys on the top right so you can follow that video to install Lutris on your desktop so here we have a blank slate basic Lutris installed if you want to install runners and anything you could actually go over here and just find the one that you want the current one that I'm using is uh, Lutris GE Proton 2.4 7.24 sorry and the game we're going to be installing today is are you smarter than a fifth grader so i'm going to hit add game that's the first step you do now what i'm going to try to do is show you guys that there are no web installers here so if i do are you smarter then they don't have a windows installer here so they have one for 2015 these are all in nintendo ds uh, Nintendo DS, three, Xbox 360. So there is no installer for the actual Are You Smarter Than the Fifth Grader. Now, what we're gonna do here is add a new game and I'm gonna install a Windows game from media. From here, you would choose the game name. So, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay, we're gonna continue with that. This is gonna ask you to set up this. Just hit install install that we don't want any desktop icons it's going to download their version of wine lutris which is fine i actually don't have it downloaded at all because this is a fresh install so we're going to let that happen i'm just going to switch it over to ge anyway but we're going to give that uh, install so anytime when you run into these i i normally just wait because it's doing something in the background where they're transferring files or something. So I'm just gonna let it wait and you see it just goes away when it's done. So here we're gonna find the setup file. So I'm gonna go to browse, downloads, RU, and then I have the exe file. This is from GOG. So I'm gonna hit that, the exe file, and then hit okay. Now I can hit continue and it's gonna bring me right to the installer. Now it's not gonna work right away after the install, which is expected because it actually needs um, runtime or C++ runtime 2019 and above. So there's multiple ways to install that when there is no, when Wine Tricks isn't working. Now I'm gonna try it now, but I know Lutris and Wine Tricks is having an issue recently. So if it doesn't work, I'm gonna manually install it without using the word, without using Wine Tricks. So here we go, we have our GOG installer, hit okay. If you ever purchased any games from GOG, this is how it looks. Yes, I have read the options, hit install, and it's gonna transfer the files over or extract everything that it needs to. And this is a Windows game, so it is an EXE, okay. Now that it's all done, we're just gonna hit launch. Nothing's gonna work because we are missing the Visual C++ runtime. So I'm gonna let that close. This is gonna finish up, and then I could hit close over here once everything is done. So I'm gonna close that and there we go. We have our game. Now, because this is running on a different version of Lutris or Wine, I'm gonna change this and hit configure, go to runner options and I could drop this and change it to Proton. Now, even if I save it and I try to run it, it's not gonna run because it is still missing the Visual C++ runtime, but I'm gonna let this go. And also because this is the first time I'm running this version of Wine, it's gonna ask me to install Mono. That is perfectly fine. So yeah, see we're stuck here again. What I'm gonna do right now, because I know I'm missing this, I'm gonna do sudo app install cab extract because um, Wine Tricks requires it and I know I don't have it. Oh, I do. Well, I'm surprised. All right, next thing we're gonna do is hit this down arrow right by this little icon. And we are gonna to go to Wine Tricks. If it doesn't start like this, which is a known bug right now, uh, we're gonna to have to manually install VC Runtime 2019 or 2022. So. How we're gonna do that is I'm gonna head over to my browser and go over to my snippet page on my dockers. And in here, VC runtime, I do have the HTTPs. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys for this, but we are gonna grab those manually. So I'm gonna head over to my downloads, okay? 
And from here, I am gonna w get dash capital O, and maybe I should have made this slightly smaller. VC run not re this dot x86. We're gonna need to install both exe, and we're gonna paste the one URL. I'm gonna grab that file, which is 35 megabytes, and we are gonna grab this one. So I'm gonna up arrow this, do 64 bit for that, change this to 64, and now we have both the files. You see VC86 and VC64. So we downloaded both the files. You could actually just paste it in your browser if you wanted to. I just did wget, I don't know why. Okay, now that we got the two files, head back into this up arrow, wine control panel, and we're gonna add and remove programs. So this has it in here, but it's not the version that is working for some odd reason. So we're gonna do, actually I could, I'm gonna do remove these. I don't want these. Uninstall, close. It probably came with the Lutris. I'm gonna remove this as well. And you do need the latest version. So I'm gonna install all files, head over to my computer actually no uh slash home done downloads and then you have these two files i'm going to start with x86 install close it's a quick install and then over here and then install the second one as well which is the 64 bit here you go install close hit okay if you go back into it it's going to show up and then now if I pop this open into play, it starts the game. So we just installed VC Run 2019. So what else can you do with this? You can actually enable other options or use different run times, um, change some stuff around. If you're playing on a laptop and you wanna use dedicated graphic cards, you could change all these options. I'm just letting this load for now. I'm gonna close it out like Alt F4. I don't know if that works. Yeah, it does. So here, you can actually always go back into configure. If you wanted to see your FPS or you want prime render, you can add all these options in here. That's why we want to use Lutris. You could also change the runner options or DXVK options, or if you want to en enable uh, AMD FSR because you're using on a lower end GPU, you can. So that's why I like to choose or use Lutris for this. Now, we're not done yet. What we want to install next are add-ons. So what you do here is with this arrow, you do run exe inside wine prefix. It's gonna find that open up window and then you could go to your downloads folder, go to your DLC. This is another exe, which is a DLC content. Six megabytes, so it's gonna be quick. Hit okay. Well, it's gonna run the installer. Oops, that was in the back. Hit yes to accept that. Install, that's it, it takes two seconds. And now I could launch. Well, it doesn't matter because it's not gonna launch the game. So if I now go back into the game, should be no problem because I'm just adding a DLC. Anyway, that is it guys. That is uh, installing a game using Lutris outside of the realm of the installers that Lutris supports. Also a Windows game and adding VC Runtime 2022 just for games that support it. And also adding DLC content. So this is a whole big package in one on adding your own Windows games into Lutris. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me up on Discord, which is the Nova Spirit Tech Discord. I have a link down in the description below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.